Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Ems, and in this video I'm going to show you this voltage tester which I got from my father-in-law and which our fathers and grandfathers used to use in Czechoslovakia. And here it is. It was made in 1981, so it's 40 years old device now. This is a probe which was delivered with the voltage tester. You can compare it with the current multimeters. With this device you can measure voltage, you can test the main voltage and you can also test three-phase motors. Here is a short user manual. It's written in Slovak language. Here you can see there were two versions made. ZN1 and ZN2. I've got uh, the ZN1 version. Here is even a schematic for the device. Yeah, could you imagine Apple would release also schematics for their devices to easy fix them? Yeah, this was a normal thing a few decades ago, but we can still dream about it. Yeah. <laughs> With this device it's possible to measure direct and alternating current. The range is from 110 to 500 volts. So it's mainly for measuring the mains voltage. So let's test it. It's uh, necessary to plug in the probe first. It must be plugged in the right side for measuring voltage. The second probe also must be plugged uh, in the right side for measuring the voltage. All right, let's measure. It's still quite precise. There is uh, 230 volts in my socket. In the user guide, it's written that it's allowed to measure the voltage just for 10 seconds. And it also vibrates a bit in my hand. Primarily, this device is used like a voltage tester for testing the mains voltage. If you want to test it with it, uh, you have to touch uh, this metal knob with your hand. Don't worry, it's not dangerous. Uh, the second probe must be plugged uh, in the right side this time. And now I'm going to push it into this socket to test the mains voltage. All right, let's test it. I'm touching the knob in the hole with the mains voltage present and in the second hole there is no mains voltage. Let's test the first hole again and you can see that the mains voltage is present in that hole. Let's measure how much current flows through my body during measuring. Like you can see just uh, 11 microamps, which is not dangerous for your body at all. Microamps are alright for your body, but if uh, there were milliamps, it would start being much more dangerous. Uh, it can kill you. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to say today. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.